It's so that time of year again. Can you believe July is already over? The start of a new school year can be challenging for some students and experts say preparing for it now can help. Mandy Gaither has tips on how to help students transition back to the classroom. Putting away the bathing suits and packing the book bags may feel different for each student. It's normal for them to have all kinds of emotions. Strong for Life licensed therapist Jody Baumstein says as students head back to the classroom, gauge how they're feeling by asking open-ended questions and then simply listen. We think we need to swoop in and save them from the feeling. But when we say things like, don't worry, it's going to be fine, it doesn't make anybody feel better. It actually makes them feel worse because now they feel like there's something wrong with them. They shouldn't feel that way and you don't get it. Bobstein says returning to school can be nerve wracking for some because of the unknown. So help by filling in the blanks. So thinking about things like going to meet the teacher night or going and taking a tour of the school if it's a new space. This is really important because a lot of kids have anxiety about the physical space. Routines are important for children, so Baumstein says to start getting back into one. If summer bedtimes are different, inch back to where they should be before the first day of school. If there are new school supplies, practice using them so students are comfortable. And she says to keep the conversation going throughout the school year. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Experts say if parents are asking kids about their day and only getting one word answers, you can try using games at dinner time for conversation starters. For example, play the high and low game where the kid tells you the high and low points of their day or a game called Rosebud Thorn where the kid acknowledges something that went well, something they're looking forward to and something that was hard. They say this gives them a consistent space to open up. Morehead police say because of staffing issues, they're not going to have full-time school resource officers this school year. Morehead Police Chief Shannon Monroe says police staffing is a nationwide issue and it's especially being felt in Morehead. Plus, four officers are out on maternity leave this fall. That leaves 11 positions to fill. True that we have is a very young department, which means um, people are having families. So I have four officers that are, um, they're all basically having babies right around the same time, which means I have four people going out this fall on FMLA and that further shorts me from the 11 open positions we're trying to fill right now. They say an officer will not be on school campuses full time until staffing needs are met.